Hello there kids, today we are going to talk about electrical devices. Okay, so yung mga basic information that you need to know on what electrical devices are. Okay, so basically marami yan, broad yan, pero pag-uusapan lang natin yung mga basic ones. Okay, so electrical devices are devices that take the energy of electrical current or what we call the electricity and transforms it to another form of energy such as light, heat, and motion. Actually, marami yan. Around you right now, marami kayong electrical devices dyan. Anything that is powered by electricity are electrical devices. Okay? Pero may mga specific tayo na kailangan yung malaman yung basic information nila. Okay. So, for example, a fuse. Ano nga ba ang fuse? So, they basically look like this. No? Marami yan. There are lots of types of uh, fuses. A fuse consists of a strip of metal with low melting point. So, yung mga common na nakikita ninyo, such as yung mga AVR ninyo, yung mga possible sa mga some of your uh, medyo malalaking gadgets, eh, ganito yung itsura. Okay. And there are there are fuses naman na ginagamit before, yung way back wala pang mga circuit breakers. Um, they look like shotgun shells na ganito. Okay. So, ito yung nagbibigay ng power sa bahay. And actually, that, that connects your from your from the main connection yung sa post to your house. So, siya yung nag, nag-connect in between. So, basically, it's like a protection. So, malalaman nyo kung bakit siya that serves as a protection. No? So, the, met, the metal melts as soon as it reaches a certain temperature which can lead to an overload. No? Okay. A certain type temperature which can lead to an overload. So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng overload? Ibig sabihin masisira. Something may masisira. Okay. So, ano yung masasabi dito sa strip of metal? This is the strip of metal over here. Overload refers to overpower. Yung capacity ng uh, gadgets ninyo sa bahay. So, for example, if your Like, for example, yung computer ninyo. It can only it can only hold from 200 to 250 volts uh, in terms of uh, power, no? Yung current. Then if it goes over that 300, there's a possibility na masasabog yung one is yung fuse. Pero kung hindi na agapan ng fuse ng maayos, most likely your computer will burn. Not not actually literally burn, no? pero may may masisira doon. So that's what you mean by overload. Etro naman yung strip of metal na minimin ng definition. Okay, so once the strip of metal melts, the circuit opens. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng uh, open circuit? Ibig sabihin, parang sa switch pa yan, you're turning it off. No? Turning it off. So, example of what basically happens when, uh, what you mean by when the metal basically melts. Okay, so this is an example. O, tingnan nyo. At first, intact siya. Look, here. Intact siya ngayon. Then, uh, as soon as uh, overload, meaning over a certain voltage, uh, over the capacity that it can hold, nangyayari is ito. So, sasa- magme-melt siya. Technically, parang sumasabog. So, then it closes. So, anong purpose nito? It's basically to protect you, your gadget, your house. Kasi if wala ito, if, if current will still flow continuously, knowing that it is already over than it's supposed to be, so there's a, there's a chance na masisira, masusunog yung bahay. Okay. Pati kayo, baka na kuryente kayo, kunwari lang. So at least this can trip off and save your life at some point. Okay? So ganyan yung basically ang, ang purpose ng fuse. Okay, next is an electric meter. Electric meter, or also known as energy meter, is a device used to measure how much energy a consumer uses. Kailangan natin yan. Uh, here in Zamboanga, we have Zamselco. In other places, uh, sa Manila, sa Luzon, they have Meralco. Okay, so this is the meter used for your monthly electric bills based on the unit watt. Okay, not watt, watt, not watt, 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 watt. So, 1,000 1, watts is equivalent to 1 kilowatt. Kilowatt R is a unit of energy that measures the consumed energy by a consumer. So, ka, like kayo sa bahay nyo, most likely you have this. Before ha, especially dati, uh, ito yung ginagamit ng mga usual households. This is what they have to check your, to count kung ilan na yung ginagamit nyo within a certain 
period of time. Usually, dito sa atin nga, monthly. That's why it's called monthly electric bills, no? But nowadays, they already switch it to digital na. Okay, so digital na yung counting nila. Just to give you a uh, situation, no? Ito kasi, yung, yung uh, maybe I can consider it as an analog. Analog meter before. May disk kasi yan siya dyan sa gitna. There's a disk there that actually runs. And this is this is like a... Parang siya yung nagme-measure on how much you are using sa bahay nyo. If you are... If let's say you have three, five air, con, air, air conditioning systems in your house. If you'll turn everything on, mabilis yung pag-ikot nyan. Ito, there's a disk kung if you'll be able to see it clearly. May disk yan siya umiikot. So, meaning less usage ng uh, power consumption, slow ang movement niya. So... The problem with this one is that people can cheat by simply tilting it a little. Pag iti-tilt nyo yan, like for for example, ililin nyo forward a little or backwards, the disc will now be imbalanced na siya. Unbalanced, hindi na siya balance eh. Okay? Unbalanced na siya, so to a point of the disc will not be able to rotate properly. So, because of that, kahit na i-on nyo pa yung aircon nyo, like kahit sampu pa yung aircon nyo sa bahay, because of uh, the inclination, the disc will now not be able to turn as how it should be. So, there's a possibility na mahina lang siya iikot. So, kapag mahina lang yung ikot niya, meaning low low lang yung pag-run ng uh, meter ninyo. So, in other words, if you're, if you're turning on your aircon 24 hours a day for 30 days, there's a chance that you'll be only be paying little compared to to uh, na kailangan yung bayaran siguro abot ng 5, 10,000, 15, 20,000 pesos eh baka magagulat yung nag-check ng uh, meter sabihin that you only get, need to pay what? 100, 200, 500, 1,000 so ganun lang okay so little information lang yun wire syempre mga wire alam nyo na yan you, you, of course you already know what wires are you already dealt with wires sa, sa projects natin so these are metallic materials or conductors used to connect an electrical appliance to a source of electricity so ganun lang yan most wires are covered by insulators anong purpose ng insulators? ito yung insulator ha again ano yung de by definition yung insulator it means that uh, these materials don't allow electricity to pass through which means you can hold it since you can hold it, it basically can save you from getting electrocuted. So, di ba? So, wires are insulated for security purposes. Kasi kung hindi, then it became coco crunch. Okay, etong material na to, nakikita nyo to dun sa school. We have this sa first, second, third floor. Every floor, meron yan. So, technically, dapat meron talaga. Okay, so this, are, this is actually called a... Circuit breaker. Okay, circuit breaker ang tawag dito. A circuit breaker is similar to a switch, but it automatically switches off when the current goes beyond its capacity. Okay, so remember yung kanina, earlier we were talking about a fuse. Circuit breakers basically changed or parang sila yung nag-change sa fuse. They, they basically like a, a replacement for, for fuses. Circuit breaker now are widely used compared to those yung mga fuse. Kasi dito, magdi-trip off lang yan. Hindi siya masisira. Unlike yung kanina sa fuse, masisira siya. Pag uh, once it gets overloaded, masisira. Dito naman, instead of uh, a certain wire that melts off, this will just automatically turn off. So, yun lang yung purpose niya. These are very important for, for para, para sa bahay nyo. Kahit sa bahay nyo, meron kayo niyan. Try to look around, especially yung galing sa, I don't know lang kung saan yung main connection ninyo, pero yung sa amin, nasa front door na sa likod lang ng front door. So, nandun usually yung connection namin for everything. Uh, my bedroom, a certain someone else's bedroom, master bedroom, kitchen area, living room area. So, dapat ganun yan. What are, what's the purpose of having multiple connections? Para, if you want to fix, for example, uh, you need someone to fix your your place. Or, your, for example, your bedroom. May kailangan iayos sa bedroom mo na kuryente. So, you don't need to turn off other other places meaning uh, the rest of the, the the rest of the parts of the house nyo may kuryente pa rin so which means you can still use the television sa living room master's bedroom or sa kitchen so you can stay there na may ilaw kayo may electric fan kayo na may kuryente kayo kasi if you don't have this like for example yung sa fuse nga no sa sa case ng fuse you, you usually kasi isa lang yung connection or dalawa lang 
So once you take it off, once you remove the, f the fuse, the entire house will have kuryente. While in circuit breakers, you can break them down into certain parts. Okay, so that yun, yun ang advantage ng circuit breaker. So the purpose of circuit breaker is to protect household appliances. Kasi nga, the current goes beyond its capacity, it will automatically switch off. Mag-turn off siya. So mawawala ng kuryente yung area na yun. So protecting everything that's beyond that connection. Which is ito na nga yung circuit breaker na yun. Okay. Next is transformers. Okay, transformers. Yan, ito ang examples ng transformers. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. no, 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 no. Hindi mm, yun kasali. Okay. Iba yun. That's a different transformer. So, transformers are either to increase or decrease voltage of electric current. Sige lang, explain ko lang sa inyo. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin niyan? Transformers that increase voltage is called a, or are called, sorry, No, so, may iba, sa next sentence, ganun din yan. Okay. Eh, ibasahin ko na lang muna, ha? Transformers that increase voltage are called step-up transformers. Transformers that decrease voltage are called step-down transformers. Okay. So, di ba, nagkaroon pa tayo ng basic uh, lecture about sa English. Kasi nga, transformer, so plural. Dapat natin yung R yan. Wala na yung A. Uh, plural din. Okay, so anyway. So, these are examples of transformers. Mga, mga nakikita na sa, for example, sa exam cell ko, dapat meron talaga sila nito. You should, they, they should have multiple of this, no? To support. Sa bahay nyo rin, meron din kayo, kahit sa aircon nyo, meron kayo nito, sa blower nyo, sa... Technically, maraming, almost lahat ng gadgets may transformer. Okay? May transformer talaga. Electric fan nyo, possibly. Lahat. Everything. Kahit mga ilaw nyo, meron din yan. Cellphones, cellphone charger nyo, meron din yan. Okay. So, explain ko lang. Bakit na, natin kailangan ng uh, transformer? So, from the main line, for example, ito yung power plant natin. Eh, produces 12 uh, kilovolts. No? 12 kilovolts go, passing through a step-up transformer. Ibig sabihin, itataas niya yung voltage. It will now be increased to 400 kilovolts. Okay. Kilovolts, for, uh, 400 kilovolts now sa power transmission na yan natin, sa transmission line na yan, yung mga usual malalaki, especially if you travel by road, makikita nyo yan yung mga malalaking transmission lines. It will then down... Uh, pass through mga substations where it will pass through a step down transformer lowering it to 13 kilovolts so yan 13 kilovolts na yan makikita nyo yan dyan sa yun na usual na yan, sa mga post na ninyo outside outside your house you have you see bunch of wires there yung pinakamataas uh, that's carrying 13 kilovolts or 13,000 volts okay 13,000 volts. So, ilan nga ba yung kailangan nyo sa bahay nyo? Usually, ang bahay natin, they, they, they need 220 to 240 volts. Yan yung standard natin kailangan sa household natin. So, from from your posts, no mga posts na nandyan, it will go through another step-down transformer or another transformer, lowering the voltage from 13 kV or 13,000 volts to 240 volts. Yan ang kailangan nyo sa bahay nyo. Okay, mag-step down yan. Again, we have three uh, transformers dito. From 12 volts to 4, uh, from 12 volts, 12 kilovolts rather, to 400 kilovolts, step up yan, tataas. Then, uh, from transmission line, darating siya sa substation. Substations will now lower the voltage from 400 to 13. Then, sa mga post ninyo, you have your usual transformers. Nakikita nyo dyan yung parang maliit na cylindrical figure. Those are transformers as well. From 13 kilovolts or 13,000 volts to 240 volts, what your basic household needs. Okay? So, yan ang purpose ng mga uh, transformers. Kasi kung without the transformer, kunwari lang ha, kunwari lang wala to. Example, wala to. So, ibig sabihin, 13,000 volts ang pumapasok sa bahay nyo. Wala. Sunog ang bahay nyo. You cannot plug anything. You cannot plug a, 
electric fans, televisions, wala, masisira yan lahat, masusunog yan lahat. So, because of extremely high, so imagine nyo, syempre, 13,000 yan, you only need 240. That's how much you need. Kahit nga aakit yan sa 300, going 350, wala na, masusunog na yung mga appliances ninyo. What more going to 13,000? Diba? So, uh, that's why we need transformers. Kailangan ng mga transformer na yun. Hindi yung, hindi yung kanina to, serve, to save Earth na yung transformers kanina kanina Optimus Prime. Hindi naman totoo yun. So anyway, yun na. Uh, these are the basic electrical devices that you need. No? Mga electrical devices that you need to know of. Mga basic information na yun. Kung ano yung mga purpose nila and how they can serve us at some point. Okay? So that's basically it. Wait, joke lang. Meron pa pala. We also have lights pa pala. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. Okay. Meron pa tayong light. Siyempre, light na mga ilaw. Meron tayong mga ilaw dyan. Okay. So, incandescent lamps. We have... These are the basic uh, incandescent lamps. no? Uh, they consist of a filament, a bulb, and a base. Ito yung base where all the connections are. Uh, ito yung uh, filament where the electricity passes through. Parang resistor yan siya, which produces heat. And of course, this is the bulb. Okay. So anything that looks like that, they're called bulbs. Okay. So, technology. Continuous technology. Progress ng technology natin. We have a fluorescent lamp. So, I think you have, lahat naman tayo may mga ganito sa bahay. We have incandescent lamps, which are the common ones. Fluorescent lamps, uh, I don't know lang kung you still have it. Pero most houses, nag-change na sila ngayon. Ang ginagamit na nila ngayon is iba na. So, itatakal naman natin yun. So, fluorescent lamp, a glass tube that contains mercury vapor under low pressure. Electricity flowing through the tube causes the vaporized mercury to give off light energy. So, ngayon naman, they have na mga parehas that looks like uh, the fluorescent lamp that also looks like incandescent lamp but they are already LED lights or light emitting diode. Okay? So, light emitting diode na yung ginagamit natin ngayon sa bahay nyo. Even your televisions are light emitting diode na rin. Okay? So, a semiconductor light that emits light when current flows through it. So, technically, ganyan yung itsura ng first light-emitting diode, mga sinaunang light-emitting diode. Malalaki. Hanggang sa nililiit na nila. That looks like this. Until, yun nga, improving further, ni-improve pa nila further, uh, making, or basically replacing incandescent lamps and fluorescent lamps na rin. Ano ang purpose nila? Bakit nila kailangan? Why are they pushing people to switch to LED lights? Because they are more efficient, less power, uh, energy consumption sila. They are a little expensive, pero energy saving talaga sila. Which means if you have 10, uh, 10 incandescent lamps sa bahay nyo, 10 fluorescent lamps, if you're going to replace them with 20 uh, LED lights dyan sa bahay nyo, All, all your fluorescent and incandescent lamps, papalitan nyo ng LED lights, most likely, mas magiging mababa yung consumption ng kuryente ninyo. So, which means lower payment, happier parents. ba? Diba? So, and parang brighter daw sila. Oh, actually, yes, it is. Uh, not daw, but they really are bright. Kung i-compare mo lang sila at a same wattage for incandescent and fluorescent compared to LED lights, mas malakas yung LED lights magbigay ng uh, brightness in terms of brightness. Okay? So, just imagine what they can do more with LED lights pa in the future. So, ito, totoo na to, Final na. Uh, this is it. That is all for today.